Hi there, Physics 151. I'd like to discuss what we're going to be doing in week nine when we're working on Mechanics Module 6 Pandemic Version. So this is all about rotation of rigid bodies. Activity one is one of the Apple course concepts, so there's just some questions to ask, no actual activity. Activity two is another one of these uh, questions about concepts. Um, but activities three, four, and five uh, do require some observations. And you can either use today's video or you can actually try to do this yourself. And the equipment that you will need um, if you're going to do this is, uh, do you remember when we had the uh, conical pendulum last time with the swinging the object in a horizontal circle? I'd like you to grab that again and the shoelace or whatever you tied it to. And this time, if you can, if you can find a straw, then you should take the, the loose end of the string, I'm going to tangle it all up here, and pass it through a straw. And then the idea is we're going to swing it around the top of our head. Uh, you'll also need a yo-yo. If you happen to have a yo-yo, that would be great uh, for activities uh, four and five. So right now, I'm going to go through some of these uh, observations for you. So let's start with activity three. There are two parts to activity three, um, or two observations. The observation for parts A, B, and C is uniform circular motion. So what we're going to do is take this um, object and the straw, and we're going to twirl it around my head in uniform circular motion, maybe a big circle. So that's uniform circular motion. Hopefully I don't hit my head with it. Um, okay. okay, activity three, parts uh, D, E, F, and G are talking about starting with uniform circular motion and then decreasing the radius of the circular motion by pulling the strings. Let's try that. So we have some big radius like that. And now you want to pull down to decrease the radius. We'll see it one more time. So that's a big radius, keeping it uniform circular motion. Now, ready? Okay, so in activity four, um, parts A and B are talking about a yo yo that's dropping either with free fall or with the string attached to it. And in part C, it says, if two objects are released from the same height, do they, um, both from rest, do they fall at the same rate? So idea with this is we hold the string for one, we don't hold the string for the other, and we drop them at the same time and see how fast they fall. Okay, now I'm going to go through the observations for activity 5 in order. Uh, so there's parts A, B, C, uh, and D. And in each case, uh, I'm going to gently pull the string, and you're going to record whether the um, yo-yo turns uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay? So, uh, let's start with uh, part A. I pull it horizontally towards the right um, from the top. And watch which way the yo-yo moves or rotates. A second time. Next, uh, part B. I'm going to pull it upwards. It's on the left-hand side, rolled around the left-hand side. I'm going to gently pull it upwards. Watch which way clockwise or counterclockwise, the yo-yo rotates. Do that again. Pulling up, goes that way. Next, part C. I'm going to set up the yo-yo, uh, so I'm pulling the string to the left this time, and I'm going to um, have it wrapped around the bottom, so horizontal bottom. Again, which way does the yo-yo rotate? 
And lastly, I'm going to be pulling it uh, up and to the left on a diagonal. And watch which way the yo-yo rotates. Let's do it again. Hopefully, if you had a yo-yo or if you had uh, something, your uh, conical pendulum from last week, you were able to do some of these observations at home. But if not, at least you had some of my observations. I hope you have a good week.